The Challenge of the Yukon. From King, on you huskies! The wonder dog King, swiftest and strongest of Eskimo lead dogs, blazes the trail through storm and snow for Sergeant Preston as he meets the Challenge of the Yukon. Sergeant Preston was typical of the small band of Northwest Mounted Police who preserved law and order in the new Northwest country, where greed for wealth and power led to frequent violence and bloodshed. But in spite of the odds against them, Sergeant Preston and his wonder dog, King, met that challenge, and justice ruled triumphant. Inspector Grayson walked back and forth his office at Dawson City as he talked to Sergeant Preston of the Northwest Mounted Police. The inspector was irritated. I don't know why they send a young constable likes turns on a case like this. He's never been in the North Country before. These men he's after are hardened criminals. Pete Darcy will kill a man as quickly and as casually as he'd look at one. They may have been short of officers in Whitehorse, sir. Sophie Smith's gang is very active. Ah, that may be true. Have you ever seen Constable Stern, Sergeant? Mm, no, sir. I've never met him. Well, he's capable enough, but quite young. I met him last summer when I was in Whitehorse. You'd like him. He's a nice chap. You'd have a lot in common. He likes dogs just about as well as you do. Great big black one follows him everywhere, just the same as King follows you. Well, black dog, you say, sir? Yes, very unusual looking. He's half wolf and half Newfoundland. Great big fellow with short wolf ears and slanting gray eyes. He has long black hair like a Newfoundland. I'd uh, like to see him. Well, you probably will. In the telegram from Whitehorse, they asked me to have one of my men. Well, he doesn't know the North. They have them down there that they can spare. I'd like that assignment, sir. You're going south on your next patrol, Sergeant. I suggest that you continue down to Selkirk. You may happen to meet him on the way. Does he use this big black dog of his on his dog team? He's told me that he often lets him run free. The dog is a little bit too big for the rest of the team and sets too fast a pace. But he's wonderful in heavy snow. Will Constable Stern be alone, sir? Yes, he will, Sergeant. But the man he's after isn't alone. Pete Darcy has a half-breed with him. They call him Wolf. It seems he's very handy with a knife. So on your way south for these two, Pete Darcy and Wolf. Stay behind this rock, Wolf. We can get a good look at him from up here. I'm sure it's Constable Stearns. Maybe just trapper or prospector. It's a Mountie, I tell you, and he's after us. Yeah, we shouldn't have stopped in Selkirk. Maybe to starve would be better. That is Stearns down there. You cannot see his face from this far. No, but I can see that big black cur that's with him. See him run alongside the team? Yes. He does not pull sled. They sent Stearns after us because he knows what we look like. Well, he ain't going to have a chance to tell anybody. You shoot him from here? Wait he gets a little closer. We can use that dog team and his supplies. I don't want to miss him. That dog, he, he follow without being tired. Yeah, he's a pet. I ain't taking a chance on getting chewed up. I shoot him after I shoot his master. Maybe now he is close enough, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I can't miss. You got him. He lay in snow. <laughs> now for the dog. <laughs> got him, too. Come on, Wolf. We're getting ourselves a dog team. Shoot good. Him dead. I told you I wasn't going to miss. We take team and go now. And we're going to bury him first. I don't want him to be found. You know what it would mean if they found a dead mountain? Yeah. yeah. Ground too hard to bury him. We'll cover him with branches and snow. Hey. Hey, wait a minute. Huh? I just got an idea. He's just my size. So? We'll take those clothes off him before we bury him. It'll be a lot easier traveling as a Mountie. You mean you dress in his clothing? <laughs> sure. And you'll be my guide. 
We're chasing two criminals called Darcy and Wolf. <laughs> hey, you start getting branches and digging while I undress him. There's a pick on his sled. We bury a dog, too? No, he's too big. We gotta hurry before someone comes. Nobody will worry about a dead dog. But a man is something different. Now, come on, hurry. Me, I am so lucky to meet you, Sergeant Preston. This heavy pack of furs, she is heavy to carry all the way to Selkirk. Glad to give you a lift, yeah. The snow keeps on falling much longer. We're going to have trouble getting there ourselves. We have made good time since morning. I guess we'll have to make camp pretty soon, though. Dogs are getting tired. What's wrong, boy? Hey, there is animal. Over there, just off trail. Oh, hi, you husky. There's a dog lying over there. Come on, Pierre. Back, King. Come here, fella. You stay back here, King. Back, I said. Down, fella. That's a boy. It is big black dog. Yes, it seems to be hurt. Hello, fella. What's wrong? Look, his head. A bullet creased the top of his skull. Wonder who left him here. Oh, he has dragged himself through snow. See? Yes, must have been shot near the trail. I wonder. Uh, Pierre, look. He's lying on some loose branches covered with snow. Mm. All right, boy. Come on. We're going to have to move you. I have never seen a dog that looked like that. Well, he must be part Newfoundland. Uh, Pierre, this dog belongs to Constable Stearns. The man you tell me about? The one you are to meet? Yes. Look at this dog. Small wolf ears, long black fur, gray eyes. Uh, someone must have shoot him. Come on, fella. Move over a little bit. All right, boy. We won't hurt you. There. Now, Pierre, help me get these branches off here. <laughs> this dog was lying here because someone he knows is buried under these branches. Oh, dear. Do you think we find body? Help me with this big one, will you? There. Uh, there is still loose snow and dirt. Maybe I should get shovel. No, that won't be necessary. It's loose enough to dig with our hands. Yes, here it is. But look, this man, they have buried him in his underwear. That's your master, isn't it, fella? He lick his face. Poor dog. This man was a mouthy, Pierre. How you know this? He has no uniform. They didn't take time to take his shoes off. They took his mucklucks, but not his shoes. Those shoes are regulation. I'm wearing a pair exactly like them. But who would do things like this? The men he was chasing. This is Constable Stearns. They must have ambushed him. But why do they not kill his dog? They may have thought they killed him. That bullet would have stunned him. But why do they take this man's clothes? That worries me, Pierre. Pete Darcy, the man who killed Stearns, is probably impersonating a mummy. You will go back to Dawson now? Yes. My way. Help me get the bottom of the sled, Pierre. We... I'll take it back to headquarters for identification. I'll have to put the dog on the sled, too. I'm afraid he's too weak to follow on foot. I don't like the sound of that wind. There's a blizzard coming up. Maybe better if we make camp now. I'm not camping outside tonight. We've been going for two days, and I need a good night's sleep. We come to town pretty soon now. What town is it, Wolf? A small town called Deer Creek. Nothing there but trading posts and few cabins. I'm glad you know this country. There is up there. We get more supply at trading posts. No. We'll go straight through the town and stay in one of the cabins at the edge of it. I don't want to be seen too much. A trading post is too dangerous. Maybe we can get a prospect to buy some supplies for us. Hey, hey Mush! Mush, you husky! Hey, hope he let us stay here with him. He will when he sees his jeep for him. Uh, who is it? I'm uh, Constable Stearns of the Northwest Mounted. Oh, a Mounted. Well, come in, come in. Yeah, this is my guide. Uh, You're just about in time for supper. Take your parkers off and make yourself to home. Uh, thanks. You think you can put us up for the night? There's a blizzard coming. We thought we'd better hole in. I sure can. I'm glad to have you. Uh, this cabin's kind of small, though. 
Maybe one of you'd rather stay with Jed Williams. Uh, he lives just down the road a spell. Uh, no, uh, we'll stay here. We're on the trail of some criminals, and I'd just as soon not let people know we're around. That's why we came to your cabin. It's not close to any other cabin. Oh, yes, I see. <laughs> well, you don't have to worry. I won't tell nobody you're here. Uh, maybe after it gets later, you'll go to the trading post for me to get some supplies. Then nobody will know we've been here at all. Well, sure, sure. I'll go there for you. Now, you just sit down and get warm. <laughs> Say, I didn't even tell you my name. It's Ned. Ned Jones. You'd uh, better put a case of dried salmon with the rest of the order, Jim. Gosh, Ned. Seems to me you're getting a lot of supplies for just a hunting trip. Well, I can always use them. Let's see now. Uh, a case of dried fish... Bacon, salt, and... Come on, Jim. Well, it's Sergeant Preston. How are you? Hello, Jim. Guess you didn't expect to see me back here so soon. Well, I'll be... Another Mountie. Another Mountie? What do you mean? Oh, uh, Nothing. I don't believe I ever met you. My name's Ned Jones. How are you? Say, Jim, is it all right if I stay here with you tonight? Sure. I didn't think he was coming in to buy supplies at this hour. Mm -hmm. Just wait a minute, Sergeant, till I get Ned the rest of the stuff he wants, and I'll fix up the back room for you. All right. I'll get those beans, Ned. Just what did you mean by saying another Mountie when I came in, Ned? Well, you see, I couldn't tell you when Jim was around, because the Mountie who's staying with me don't want anyone to know he's there. Oh. It'll be all right to tell you, though, because you're probably looking for the same man he is. Uh, you being a Mountie, too. You say he's staying with him? Yep. Just till this blizzard gets over. Uh, he came just for supper. Do you know who he is? Yep. His name is Stearns. Stearns, eh? Derby yep, he's... Uh, well, I can't talk about it now in front of Jim. Here they are. Well, thanks, Jim. Oh, uh, Jim, I've changed my mind about staying here. I'm going to spend the night with Ned. Uh, but, but... Come on, I... Ned. You can put those things on my sled. Listen to that wind. Hope the old codger gets back with those supplies. You got a mask, Wolf? Yeah. Maybe I should have got supplies. Maybe he talked too much. Huh? <laughs> Not him. He was all primed to help the law. We'll get an early start tomorrow if this blizzard lets up, and we'll be across the border within a week. Here you come now. Well, I brought along another... Oh, Bull, watch them, Ken. Uh, uh, what the... Uh, arrest, both of you. For the murder of Constable Stern. Uh, but he's a... Look out, Sergeant. He's got a knife. Uh, 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 take him. Uh, uh, get this dog away. Please. I'll take your gun first, Pete. I'll get over there beside Wolf. Back, King. Let him up, boy. Get up, Wolf. But, but he said he was Constable Stearns. Constable Stearns is out on my sled. He was murdered by these men. It's a lie. You can't prove anything. We'll see about that. When I take you two back to Dawson. Watch them, King. These copyrighted dramas originate in the studios of WXYZ Detroit. And all characters, names, places, and incidents used are fictitious. They are sent to you each week at this same time. This is Larry McCann speaking.